This video is the first on statistical diagrams for the 2017 A-Level Maths Statistics content for AQA. We're looking at stem and leaf diagrams. So following on really from what you will have done at GCSE, stem and leaf diagrams first and then we'll go through some further statistical diagrams. Okay, so looking at this data here, see a number of hours worked by a sample of 30 men. Five hour intervals, and we're going to draw a diagram, so it will go, for example, between 20, 25, 26 to 30, and so on. So the stem are the tens and then the units are the leaves. So here we can see we have one value of 51, that's this value here. We have in intervals of 5, 45, 46, 41, 41, 42 and you should be able to pick out those values from here. So 46 is 4 tens, 6 units. Thirty-five, and you can see there's a few values of 35. And if we look here, we can see that we can locate them all there. There should be the same number. 100%. Usually with a stem and leaf diagram we give a key that explains the stem and the leaf. A bit like a, a bar chart as explained here. We do tend to do the leaves in numerical order counting upwards and the diagrams using obviously raw data. We've not got it grouped to start off with so there's no frequencies. Finding the median and the quartiles is very easy from a stem and leaf diagram. Median is the middle term. This is the formula here. n plus 1 over 2 where n is the number of items of data. So we have 30 men. So 30 plus 1 gives us 31 over 2 gives us 15 and a half, doesn't it? 15.5. So the average of 15 and 16, or the 15th and 16th term. So that's the 15th, that's the 16th. They're the same, so the median is 34. Lower quartile, we do a similar exercise, n plus 1 over 4. So the seven and three quarter term, seven point seven five. Same again. And that tells us that the lower quartile is thirty two. Again, if they weren't the same, we would have to interpolate. So for example, if we had that, to find that value, we would add three quarters of the gap between them so three quarters of four which is three so we would get 32 plus 3 35 for the lower quartile for the upper quartile we do three quarters of n plus one which is 23.25 and it's a similar exercise 23rd there, 24th there. Conveniently, again, they're the same. They're both 36. So the upper quartile is 36. But again, we would interpolate if we needed to. The interquartile range is the upper quartile minus the lower quartile. So it's 4 
because it's 36 for the upper quartile, 32 for the lower quartile. So to summarise, stem and leaf diagrams are used for small raw data sets. It would be really, really difficult if it was a big set of raw data, not group data, and this was our example. To find the median, we use that formula. The quartiles, those. That's the interquartile range. And we can interpolate in the way shown to find the lower quartile and the upper quartile. We sometimes use what we call back-to-back -back stem and leaf diagrams. If we, say, wanted to look at the weekly hours work by men and women, here's our original data for men, and then we enter the data for women and we can then use them to compare so things like find the median for both using the same stem and each leaf represents one man or one woman okay